Welcome. Wow, some microphone issues here. Sorry about that. Uh, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, we got a good show for you today. Uh, we got a good episode. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house on uh, Akib Felice versus Release Reese Bellotti. Say that three times quick. What? 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 Is, what why is this being weird? Hang on. Uh, there it is. Okay. Got it. All right, sorry about that, y'all. All right. Uh, we got Reese. Uh, we got a really even fight as far as the odds go. Shock by the odds. Uh, we have Akeem Faiz and uh, Reese Bellotti. A uh, really interesting fight. We got a, a bull of Matador type fight, a puncher versus a mover. It's a really interesting fight. I think the odds are, are the odds shock me. I'm, I'm shocked by the odds. I think this is a great money, a great fight to make some money on. Um, and I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Like I said, I don't gamble. And uh, I'm going to use DraftKings. That's where I get all my odds from. I think it's easy to use. I think it's user friendly. Um, and they don't even let you gamble. They, you can't use uh, Jeff Kings in Texas, but I'm going to show you how to make money. In case you do, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house because the bookmakers and boxing don't know what they're doing. Uh, if you consistently follow me, I'm going to show you how to make money gambling on the sport of boxing because it's not really gambling. It's all calculated risk. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so let's, uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, 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 also follow me on Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, guys. All right, let's get into uh, the show. Um, so Reese Bellotti has been in with some good fighters. Akeem Faiz has not yet been in um, with good fighters. Uh Bologna has a record of 16 and 5. <clears throat> He's got 13 knockouts. He can he, he can he can whack. He's basic, uh, but he, he can crack. He's also been stopped twice. He's been stopped by Raymond Ford, and he's been stopped by Ryan Doyle, I believe. Um, those are the two times he's been stopped. He got stopped by Raymond Ford back in 2021, about two years ago, uh, 26 months ago, and he's gone on and he's won two fights since then. One is his best win to date, which was his last fight back just in June, so just about four months ago. Uh, Yusuf Komari, uh, who got knocked out by Jorge Castaneda, came back, um, and then he got um, he only had a points loss to Jorge Castaneda. I'm sorry. Uh, and a, a tight fight, and he had a good fight um, with Bloody, and which is interesting because, you, you, you know, um, I they're similar fighters. Kamari, I'm surprised Kamari would, would take two fights like that with similar guys after he lost one um, to Bologna. Uh But Bologna's a, a talented guy. He, he's, he's, he's a good fighter. He's basic, like I said. Um, he, he's pretty slow. Uh, he eats a lot of punches. Um, he, he's easy work for a jab. If you can snap your jab, you can, you can get a pass. He has trouble getting past the jab. Uh, but he can cut the ring off. He can get on the inside uh, if he can get past your jab, or if you keep your, you know, uh, jab at bay, or if, you know, you don't use your jab. Um, he likes to trap. He likes to get you in the ropes, right? Like he, he's looking to load up. Um, he's looking to, to get you in trouble. He's, he's been outboxed by Raymond Ford. He's been outboxed by Jordan Gill. Um, so if you can box and you can move, you can have this guy, which is why I thought the odds were so interesting. It's not that. Um, I think he sucks, or I think Bloody's just, uh, you know, a stepping stone. Although that's how he's being treated. Um, he's, you know, he's defensively he has flaws, like I said, um, but he seems stylistically wrong for Fias unless he can knock him out. To me, this is the type of fight where Fias wins unless he gets knocked out. If Fias makes it to the bell, which I think he will, because he can move. Although he has been dropped in his recent outing, uh, so maybe the, the bookmakers are looking at that. I, I don't know, but this doesn't seem like an even fight to me. I'm going to get in the odds in just a minute. You're going to show you how to make money on this. Um, you know, Bloody is good. He likes to trap you. He likes to, he's got a good work rate. He seems to have a pretty good engine. Um, you know, but he's going to lose rounds with Faiz. So it, it, it's going to, you know, he can't box Faiz. He can't move him. Um, as long as Faiz stays off the ropes, um, you know, Bloody's got a good jab himself. He's going to have to utilize that. Fiaz is a good jab too. He doesn't utilize it enough at times. Um, so this is going to be – it's an interesting matchup, right? Uh, but I don't really see how Bloody wins unless he stops him. Unless you think there's a 50-50 chance he can stop him, which I don't. Like, there's a chance he can stop him because he can hit. But I would not say that's a 50-50 chance. Like, to me, all, the odds are all in favor of Faiz. Now, what makes Faiz good? He's a lightning-quick athlete. He's got – you know, he he kind of fights like you would expect a uh, – 
you know, an, ath- an athletic uh, American fighter. Uh, you know, he fights out of the Philly shell. He'll keep his hands low. He flips the jab. Uh, he'll, he's got a lightning, really good counter left hook. I mean, real good counter left hook. He throws in combinations, but not enough. He's got a good jab, but he doesn't use it enough. So he's got all the skills. I really like him. Uh, but he just hasn't mastered it yet. Like, he's not quite there yet. Like, he's still learning, still growing. But I think, you know, we saw Raymond Ford at that at that level. <clears throat> um take him apart and stop him. We saw Jordan Gill dominate. So I, I think Faiz beats him, to say the least. Like, I, I think Faiz beats him. Um, he's got a pretty good work rate, too. Um, you know, he's not you know a high-volume guy, but for what he is, uh, which is a mover and a boxer, he throws he throws in combinations pretty well. He, th- he has a decent work rate. He's got a good snappy jab. I really want him to throw that more. His footwork is phenomenal. His, his speed is really, really good. He's really, really hard to track down. Like I said, Bologna's good at, at, at cutting off the rings and, and, and trapping people. He's going to have his work cut out for him in this fight. Um, if he has, can move. Now, if he has the, the, the problem is he's really not been tested. Like, like I said, the one fight he, he, he had where you could say, okay, that guy's kind of a step up. Is his last fight against Eon, a Romanian fighter who's still not at the level of Bloody, I don't think. Um, and he, he, he dropped him and gave him trouble. Uh, Costin Eon is now 10 4 and 2. You know, I'm not trying to say he's a bum or anything, um, but that's the level that he's at. And he, he dropped him and lost a close decision. He dropped him on left hook, uh, just in the middle of his game. They both fired hooks, <clears throat> and Fiaz got hit with his. Um, so let's get to the odds, right? Like you guys kind of get this. Fiaz is the better athlete, the more skilled fighter. Um, he should win the fight, but he is a major step up for him. It's a major step up for him. I would not put, uh, Kostin Eon even in the same tier as Bloody because I, I respect Bloody as a fighter. Um, so let, let's, let's look at where he, let's look, let's look at the odds. Right, let's pull up the odds real quick. Uh, uh, so it's just the money line I have, um, and I I think there's two ways this fight's going to end. Um, Fiaz by decision, uh, Bellotti by stoppage. Now, I, I would try to look at those odds and bet on those two things, but we don't have that here. So I want to just look at the money line. Um, I would say if I was making the book, I would make Faiz a two to two and a half uh, times favorite, right? So I would say I would make him plus, uh, I'm sorry, minus 225. If I was making a book on it, and this is what I mean by they don't know how to how to handicap this sport, he's plus one ten. They're telling me that Bilotti is likely going to win this fight. Bilotti's probably not going to win this fight. He could, he could get the stoppage, he can hit. He, he's but he's basic. Fiaz is really a level ahead of him, right? And, and when when one fighter is a level ahead of against the other guy, and the other guy only has a punch of shit, it should not. He should not be the favorite. It shouldn't be an evenish fight. And Fiaz is giving me slightly better than even odds. Give me plus 110. So that means I bet 100, I win 110. Now, I'm so confident in this bet that I'm going to bet two times. I'm going to make a two times bet on my normal bet um, that Fiaz is going to win this fight. Uh, and that's going to be plus 200. So that's going to make you uh, $220. Right? So you your regular 200, you get back. Plus, you get another 20. So you're going to walk away with $420. Your 200 plus another 220. So really good odds for a guy that should be favored, right? Like he should, I, I, if I was making, I'd make a minus two twenty five, and I'd make Milady plus one seventy five, right? Like that's where the odds should be. Um, but you can see they've gone completely the opposite direction. So uh, to me, this is a no brainer. Um, it's a good fight. It's an interesting fight. It's a good step up for Fiaz. We're gonna find out if I'm right about Fiaz, but um. Uh, let me know what you guys think. That's the bet. It's simple. Two times bet on Fiaz. This is a good fight to make money on. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Black. Follow uh, the, the Boxing Bookie. Uh, also at Texas Boxing Scene, uh, where all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. It is October 18th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.